Hi, and uh, welcome to this uh, review of the food on the wonderful Sky Princess ship. Um, I'm going to start off with the main dining room, and I'll put a few menus up there for you to have a look at. Just just freeze the uh, video and have a look at the menus. Um, but yeah, great. Let's do the let's do the main dining room bit first. So uh, on our seven day cruise, we um, four four evenings we are in the main dining room. We were on Freedom Dining, so we could sort of uh, turn up when, when we fancied it, really. Uh, we tend to eat late. We always have we're sort of a, an 8, 8.30 kind of couple. Um, so our experience of the main dining room, I have to say, was, well, it was nothing short of amazing. The quality of the food um, was amazing. It was really, really good. Um, the service was great. Um, I, I, we couldn't fault it. And... Yes, we did go to the speciality restaurants, but having said that, uh, I think if we went again and they said you couldn't couldn't go to any speciality restaurants, you just have to eat in the main dining room, I would be uh, more than happy because some of the quality of the food was excellent. Shrimp cocktails were lovely. Um, I had the Alfredo's uh, pasta starter. That was delicious. I had that two or three times. It was so good. Um, prime river beef one night. That was beautiful. Um, I, yeah, it was really, really good. And um, as you can see, coming up on screen, there's a few examples of, of some of the dishes we, we had in the main dining room. And um, yeah, very, very impressed and very, very happy with the quality. And uh, yeah, you, look, you, look, you will look forward to your meals in the main dining room. You will not be disappointed. During the cruise, it was a, a rather special occasion for my wife. It was a, a big birthday, shall we say. Um, so one of our best friends um, actually treated us to the balcony dining experience and uh, we didn't really know what to expect, but um, uh, we arranged it for a night when we were, I think we were in Copenhagen. The weather was a bit rough, so we actually wanted to do this balcony experience when when it was calm and uh, the weather was decent. So, uh, so we opted to have it on the Wednesday, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday night, I can't remember which um in actually in port so the, the views weren't the best but uh, having said that it didn't detract from the experience um the guys turned up set up a table on our balcony um and then brought us cocktail each our cocktail, a cocktail of our choice i had a mojito my wife had a negroni i think from memory and then um a bottle of prosecco turned up and then the food started to arrive and it kept on arriving um we had some Sort of tasty little nibble starters, then a proper starter, then a salad, and then uh, it, it just went on and on. And um, and the main event was uh, um, a fillet steak and lobster, so a surf and turf, which was absolutely exquisite. We were waited on hand and foot by a couple of waiters who who, who really looked after us, and uh, yeah, the whole experience was absolutely fantastic. It was an awful lot of food. We didn't actually even manage to eat the desserts, but we, we stowed them in the fridge for later on. So uh, there's a few sort of video snippets I'll, I'll put in here. But, um, yeah, if anyone's thinking of doing something a bit special for a birthday or anniversary or something like that, the balcony dining experience is uh, thoroughly recommended. And uh, I can imagine if you're doing it somewhere with a nice sunset and a nice balmy evening somewhere, it would be even better. But, um, yeah, great. Give it a go. You won't be disappointed. We visited um, Sabatini's Italian Specialist Restaurant one evening, and I have to say the whole experience was absolutely amazing. It's a crazy amount of food they serve up, but uh, thoroughly recommended. And um, next time on Sky Princess, I think that will be the, uh, the special speciality restaurant we book again. Um, it started with um, breads and olive oil, which was delicious. There, there was something about the bread on the Prince on the Sky Princess. I don't know who their baker is, but the bread is absolutely fantastic. And you just, you could live on those little bread rolls they serve up. Really, really nice. Um, that was followed by um, a sort of a complimentary starter, which was some, some sort of Italian rice ball. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of it, but uh, again, it was delicious with a, with a nice dip. Uh, but that was quite a, quite a big sort of complimentary uh, starter and um, quite filling in itself. But... As I say, delicious. 
uh, we then moved on to the starters you actually select and um, I went for the Alfredo pasta which I, I must admit I'm, I'm sort of a little bit addicted to and every time I had the opportunity to to have the pasta I did it was lovely my wife went for shrimp and she said it was delicious uh, we then we then both get served a, a, another salad an in-between salad um, and then moved on to the main courses um, we both went for um, the veal and the veal was not saying I eat too often but it was absolutely divine it just melted in the mouth um, the wine was flowing throughout the evening. The service was impeccable, uh, friendly, um, but efficient. Uh, not too formal, but uh, yeah, it, it hit just the right note on the service. Uh, we loved it. And then finally, I come to dessert, and uh, I couldn't make up my mind what dessert to have, and neither could my wife. So um, the guy just says, I'll bring you some of everything. And he, he come out with these, these um, trays with four four tasting desserts on and I have to say they were all delicious I couldn't choose which was the best but they were all very good so Sabatini's for us it's a big plus it you know we couldn't fault it we had a lovely meal um but you need to go hungry you really do need to go there hungry because there's an awful lot of food served uh, delicious but uh, if you've eaten too much that day I wouldn't bother going to Sabatini's because you're not going to fit it all in and it is so delicious you do want to fit it all in. So, yeah, thoroughly recommend the Sabatinis. Um, we're going on Sky Princess again in at the end of October, and I will definitely be going to Sabatinis. Uh, I think it was probably our favourite um, meal on, on the... Uh, well, it's certainly my, my favourite meal on the ship. So, um, just want to quickly touch on drinks. Um, I know it's a food review, but um, the quality of the drinks throughout the ship were... Excellent, I have to say. Some of the uh, some of the cocktails were really exquisite. The, the, there's a margarita they do in the Crown Grill Bar, and they had a bit of Cointreau to it, which is a bit unusual, but wow, what a, what a lovely drink that was. Um, had a few mojitos, which is a personal favourite of mine. That was excellent. Mudslide, another nice cocktail. Um, so really, yeah, high-quality drinks. Uh, my wife's quite keen on the bourbon whiskey-based cocktails, and she had an old-fashioned and a Manhattan, and... Uh, yeah, really good, really good drinks. Um, so it's a big thumbs up for the food. It's also a very big thumbs up for the drinks. And I have to say the service in all the restaurants was uh, absolutely spot on. Uh, um, it's not too formal. We don't like it too formal, but it's efficient, it's effective, it's friendly, uh, and it's timely. And, uh, yeah, we we felt really well looked after whenever we went out to eat uh, on, on the ship. So, yeah, loved it. Loved it so much. We booked two more Sky Princess cruises. So uh, I think the testament to uh, our experience is that we're going to be return visitors. Anyway, thanks for um, watching and listening. And, um, yeah, more content coming soon. So please subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, cheers for now.